I don't know. Uh, up on the ridge, part of the ridge of the coxcomb, and now I'm looking over. Just below the ridge. It's pretty cool terrain. It's not too bad. A little windy. But woohoo! I can see him for miles and miles. That's where my car is parked down there. And I hiked around those rocks and down around the back here. And you can't see it from where I am, but I came back up along the edge of this, just below this ridge. And I've just found kind of a cool wind shelter up here. Or just kind of a little hovel. Might be another place to take a break. But I'd like to get in the sun too. Need to find a little better wind shelter, but this is pretty cool. I'm fighting with the urges to climb stuff like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it though. There's some really pretty color in this rock. A lot of oranges and yellows. Another kind of cool hovel up here just below the ridge line. Windbreak. Looks like you could just sit in here and make arrowheads and watch everything that's going on down in the valleys. I'll bet the Indians sat here. It's a very, very great observation post. Oh, maybe I'll have to go up here and have a look what's over the edge of that.
not so exposed. I am on the coxcomb. Cool steps in the rock. Makes it makes it kind of nice. Now I don't know if I should keep going along here because just past these trees I can't see much. It might get really exposed. So I'm gonna drop down lower and look up to see what that would be. I don't want to get myself stuck up here today. I think I'm going to take a break right up here. I can't really get much further along this ridge and I don't really want to go down. It's so nice up here. So I'm going to just sit up here for a while and think about stuff. Maybe read or... I don't know. There's sure a nice view so I'm going to just hang here.